like that and it helps, helps with identification when we're out there in the field. We love it. We love it. A special presentation this morning, and so I think I'm Gunnar, am I turning it over to you? Yes, we're, we're going like to stand. Uh, right. The three of you can stand back there, that'd be great. There you go. Thank you. So, gentlemen of the board and uh, staff of the uh, Department of Land and Natural Resources and citizens of Hawaii and uh, all like-minded outdoors enthusiasts everywhere, my name is Gunnar Klar. I represent the Shikar Safari Club International and today I have the distinct honor of presenting the Hawaii Wildlife Officer of the Year Award to a very deserving individual. But if you just allow me a few minutes to explain a little bit about how this award came about. Back in 1952, a group of like-minded outdoor enthusiasts, hunters, and sportsmen and women gathered together to share their enthusiasm for wildlife and the outdoors. They formed what's called the Shikar Safari Club International. In those days, it was mostly a uh, social club just to get together and share stories about what's happening worldwide in the outdoors. But soon it became apparent that there was a great need to do something more for wildlife and conservation. So in the early 70s, this group of men and women formed the Shikar Safari Club Foundation. Its sole purpose was to raise money for conservation projects, uh, endangered species and wildlife disease research, training underprivileged under inner city kids for outdoor skills, anti-poaching efforts, uh, relocation of threatened wildlife, scholarships for student in-game management, and financial support of state agencies such as here we're gathered here today. But there's a group of men and women who daily risk their lives for not only the natural resources that we all hold so dear and the wildlife and their habitat, but also perhaps, and I'm most selfish to say most importantly, uh, the men and women, the individuals like ourselves who venture into the outdoors and sometimes don't use the wisest discretion as we're enjoying the outdoors. So this group of men and women, two of which are standing next to me today, daily risk their lives and often don't go recognized for the risk they take and the great jobs that they do. So the Wildlife Officer of the Year Award was started in order to recognize these brave men and women in uniform who go above and beyond the call of duty to teach, train, guard, and protect. Now each year this award is given out in all 50 states of the United States and in every province of Canada. And this is not an award that I or any of the people I work with determine who is the best. The recipient of this award is picked by his peers. So today's award recipient has been selected by his own peers, the, in this case, the Department of Land and Natural Resources of the state of Hawaii, as the outstanding individual who has gone well beyond his job description. So today's recipient of the Wildlife Office of the Year Award is no exception to this. This man has exhibited unique skills, courage, and perseverance in the line of duty. He's literally risked his life to perform his duty. So I won't talk on any farther as I'm prone to do. I would just like you to join me today in recognizing the Hawaii Wildlife Officer of the Year Outstanding Officer, Officer Randy DeCambra. Randy receives this special plaque, and we also have this uh, certificate here. He gets a gold pen, of course, and goes with it. And uh, along with this, Randy is eligible for a $20,000 life insurance policy that should he ever be killed in the line of duty, that his 
family would receive, but we sincerely hope that they never have to take advantage of that. So Randy, congratulations, and I think his boss is going to say a few nice words. Definitely. Thank you. <laughs> uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Howard Rodriguez. I am the Maui Docare Branch Chief. And just to say a little bit more, you know, Officer DeCambra does on a daily basis go above and beyond. If you look at the uh, stats, it's, uh, it's, it's above the, the norm, yeah? He, he comes back, you know, on days off, he, he does uh, high profile cases which led to a, a, a prosecution and he, he is a very, very knowledgeable officer when it comes to the uh, conservation laws. So, you know, with, with that said, I just, you know, I'm so glad we're here we, we, uh, to recognize you, Randy. Congratulations, job well done, and I appreciate the work. And with that said, I'd just like to say one more thing. On Maui, we, we have a great group of officers, we have a great supervisory staff, and we have a great support staff. But again, Officer D. Campbell did go above and beyond and well deserved for this award. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Do you have any words to say for the good of the state of Hawaii? Um, yeah, um, I just, you know, it's, it's been a privilege and an honor to serve, you know, the residents of this beautiful state. Um, you know, as a dole care officer, we are charged, um, we have a very vital mission, and that vital mission is protecting these treasures that is unique to Hawaii. And um, for me, it's a personal commitment, it's a daily commitment, and, um, you know, I just, I, I, I just really, um, thank you, thank you for everything. And um, on Maui, real lucky. For me, this is more like a team award, because I'm surrounded by a lot of um, a lot of highly experienced, um, talented uh, officers. Um, the the support the administration has given me is incredible. So um, again, I, I kind of consider this a team award. And thank you to the Dole Care Administration uh, for providing an environment um, and being supportive, which allows me to to be successful. Uh, thank you, Howard. One more time, bro. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Here you go, Doc. Thank you.